All right, hey, okay, I'm Nadim Khan, and uh, this is my van. Well, actually, it's my wife's van. Her name is Anna, and it's a 1960 English Ford Thames. Uh, it was sold brand new in San Francisco, and it's an old hippie van. It was, it hadn't moved since 1992, and we got it running within a week, and she's been on the road ever since except when she breaks down and she needs parts which have to come all the way from England but she's got some uh, pretty cool features like these vents up here that let air in and, and the door, the side door over here that when you open it there's a step comes out all right it's, uh, this taxi thing that I had is a mag it's just magnetic and I've had it for years but I never had a van or anything to put it on, so uh, so this thing came around and it's uh, and it's perfect for it. And she'll cruise 65 miles an hour down the highway. It takes a while for it to get up there. It's not it's not fast, mm -hmm. but it's. Uh, I mean, this thing wasn't really designed to be driven on the highway. It's more like a. It was it was a city it was a city vehicle um, made to take people to the airport or whatever you know job sites and things like that. That's what it was built for. You know, and obviously in 1960 in England, when it was built, uh, the speeds were much lower than what they are now. I mean, we're going 65, but people are just whizzing right past us, which is, of course, the way it is. So that's the only, and that's the original. I think it's the original dealer plate, Ed Shuey. I'm not sure. I have no idea. But yeah, I need. I need a light. I need a lens. If anybody's got one, <laughs> you may have to make it. Yeah, there's one. I need one of those. So. It's just, it's just got all these little cracks in it, you know. Uh -huh. But these are perfect. These are, I think these, no, these are plastic too. What's it running? A four banger? Four banger. What, 1.6? 1. 1. 1. 1.7. 7, 7. 1,703 7, cc's. Yeah. yeah. These are, these are Astros. Allied Astro Supremes. And uh, 185, 14 tires. The, the, the van only had a... Uh, two original wheels on it, it had 15 inch wheels on it and, they were, and the hubcaps and wheels, two wheels were missing. So in, they would be impossible to find over here anyway. So in the interior is, um, I painted the inside and this material right here, this was all designed by my daughter and she, um, and we had this printed in England. The headliner still got to be done. She did all the curtains and everything. And then we've got the steering wheel on here is really cool. It's got uh, it's got octagonal holes on it, which you which you never see. And it's stainless steel, and it's, and I found that thing on eBay. So yeah, she's been a good van. I had to have the steering box rebuilt, and that was uh, that was a real chore. Mm. That that had to be done in England, and I put new rubbers, all new rubbers around the windows and everything. Mm -hmm. And of course, all that this the paint's all original on it. It's not perfect, but you know, it's uh, pretty much the way that she came from the factory. Oh yeah, they call it patina now, right? I guess it's patina, you know, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, it's... A lot of guys are leaving them. I mean, yeah. I mean, I could restore it. I mean, I don't want to restore it. I got too many other projects, so... Mm -hmm. So she's going to stay like this for now. And the headliner is going to be done, of course. And then the, and then the carpet, we've got to do the carpeting too. Okay. Yeah. And, and our, our rubber mats, what have you. But yeah, I like her. She came down. We came down here on I-4, 65 miles an hour. You know, she was fine. And what kind of motor you got in there? Little four-cylinder. You want to see it? Yeah. Okay, okay cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here's the engine. 1,703 cc's. Uh, this is a Ford console Mark II engine, which is what they put in these things. This is all original. The only thing I did to it was put an alternator on it. Hmm. But she runs great. Three-speed, three on the tree. No synchro on first. And I don't know, I don't know why they laid it up, but it was laid up and it hadn't moved since 92. Um, and I think it was because of a bad clutch slave cylinder and that's why they just, they didn't drive it, just sat for years and years and years. Mm. So what's this little knob for in the center there? That's for the vacuum, that's for the uh, vacuum wiper, wiper motor. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's vacuum operated. Uh -huh. And I guess it's your headlights over here. Yeah, headlight no. switch, and that's that's it. It's basic. This is it. Uh -huh. The uh, original um, steering wheel was in very bad shape, so I had to replace it. And um, 
and I put an accessory turn signal on there, mm -hmm. which is not factory, but the sun visors are missing and they're impossible to find. I have a pair off of an Alfa Romeo oh. convertible that are very close that I need to put on there, but I've got to have them reupholstered. Mm -hmm. Okay, here it is from the back. You got some door panels. Yeah, we got we got to do some floor. We got to put some more floors on there, carpeting or whatever. With these lift up, you can put all kinds of stuff underneath here. Uh -huh. So, oh yeah, lots need to of cover storage. this. Yep. Yeah, lots of storage, and then it was originally a 12-seater van, so it had 12. Uh, it had seats for 12 people. Oh. Some along the side, some going this way, but they're all all of them were missing. So, so my buddy made all these new ones, and then we, and then my daughter made all of these cushions mm -hmm. and the curtains. Yeah. What's the whole? Um, it's for the spare tire. It's put a mechanism to, to lower the spare tire from oh, underneath there. Yeah, so, there you go. yeah.